Today, I'm gonna to be sharing with you some of our favorite slow cooker recipes, and some of them make perfect freezer meals. We're gonna make slow cooker sausage and peppers. You're gonna need about a 12 ounce package of sausage, and I'm gonna cut these in one fourth pieces. One green pepper and one red pepper diced. One small onion diced. Two minced garlic cloves and one tablespoon of Italian seasoning. And you're gonna need a can of diced tomatoes, Italian style. I have crushed that I'm using today. My sausage, I'm just gonna add that in here. All right, I'm gonna add in the peppers and then the garlic, the onions, and the seasoning. So this is gonna cook on low for six to eight hours. Mmm, it smells so good. And there you have it, slow cooker sausage and peppers. Oh, yum. You could put a slice of cheese on there, get it all melty, or have it over rice or pasta. Yum. Now it's time for the country style ribs, you guys. These will melt in your mouth. These are our favorite. Let me share with you how I did this. I'm gonna make a rub put on top of the ribs. I went online searching for all kinds of rubs. That just let me down a rabbit hole, my friends. So I decided on smoked paprika, granulated onion, garlic powder, and salt and pepper. I just <laughs> started adding them together. So these are pork country style ribs and I gave that rub a good rubbing all over both sides. Put it in the crock pot and then I, I did this in layers. So this first layer and then barbecue sauce, another layer of ribs and barbecue sauce. And then I just put the lid on. You can either cook it on high up to four hours or low up to like six or eight. The longer you cook it on low, it's just gonna completely fall apart. Did you look at that, look at these ribs. They are just melting apart. They're so good. I made some coleslaw and some French bread. It was delicious. The kids like a little bit of ranch on their Brussels sprouts, so give that a try if your kids are not too sure about them. Okay, next up is maple salmon with shallots. So you're gonna need about six five ounce salmon fillets, and I am using frozen. And then you're gonna need a tablespoon of olive oil, a half cup of sliced shallots, one half cup of maple syrup, one eighth cup of lime juice. I don't have fresh lime, so I'm using out of the bottle today. A fourth cup of soy sauce, two tablespoons of crushed garlic, one teaspoon of minced ginger, and I have this uh, chopped ginger that we're gonna use. And this is all done in your slow cooker. So let's get this put together. I'm gonna slice up some shallot. Is there seriously a difference between a shallot and a regular onion? And how different is this shallot versus a red onion? Like. I don't know, you guys tell me. What do you know about onions? This is so strong. <laughs> All right, so we sliced up our shallot and I'm gonna use my nifty garlic press to mince the garlic. This is from Pampered Chef and it's seriously like one of the best garlic mincing tools I have ever used. Look at that. Minced garlic, ready to go. In a pan, we're gonna put a tablespoon of olive oil in and we're going to saute up those shallots and we're gonna get them all nice and caramely. Now they say about a half cup of caramelized shallots. We're gonna get this all nice and caramely. Probably about 15 minutes. We're just gonna combine the rest of the ingredients, put them in this bowl. So we have our garlic. Then we'll need a teaspoon of the ginger. Okay, a fourth cup of the soy sauce. An eighth of a cup of the lime juice. All right, and then you're gonna need a half cup of that maple syrup. Now we're going to give it a good mix and pour it on top of all our salmon fillets in the crock pot. Okay, one hour on high. All right, here is the maple salmon. Look at all that caramelized onion. Yum, I'm serving it up with some jasmine rice. And all you have to do is just throw it in your slow cooker for an hour on high. So you can come home from work, put this in, unwind, 
and just get your rice and whatever veggies you want to do with it ready and you have dinner and this is amazing enjoy guys so good for this slow cooker creamy tortellini soup you're gonna need a pound of ground italian sausage already cooked up one chopped onion then you'll need two large carrots chopped two celery stalks chopped and four garlic cloves minced next you'll need a tablespoon of italian seasoning a half a teaspoon of salt and two teaspoons of beef bouillon granules then you'll need four cups of beef broth now if you don't have beef broth or don't care for it you can use chicken stock if you want or even vegetable Okay, get your lid on and you're gonna cook on high for four hours or low for seven. Okay, when that's done after the four hours, you can try to skim some of the fat off the top if you'd like. You're gonna take one fourth cup cornstarch and mix it with a fourth cup of water. And we're gonna pour it in here. Then you're gonna need 36 ounces of either evaporated milk or half and half, and I'm using half and half. And then you're gonna need a bag of tortellini. This is cheese tortellini. Mine is frozen, and that'll be just fine. Give it a good mix. Okay, we're gonna cook this on high for another 45 minutes until it thickens. And the tortellini is soft and cooked through. Okay, another 45 minutes on high. This is beautiful. So now I'm gonna add the spinach in. So you need about five cups of spinach. So we're gonna add a layer in. And then you're gonna cook this for another five or 10 minutes until the spinach wilts down. Look at that. Creamy sausage tortellini soup. Oh, yum. Look at that. It tastes incredible. Bring this to a soup potluck and it'll be gone. You won't be bringing any leftovers home. Today I'll be sharing with you barbecue chicken street tacos. You will need four small boneless chicken breasts, two cups of barbecue sauce, a 15 ounce can of black beans, a chopped red onion, or a half of one depending on the size of your onion, corn tortillas, and to garnish some shredded cheddar cheese and chopped cilantro. To prepare to freeze these, of course I'm gonna mark my bag with all the cooking directions and anything I need to add when it's time to cook. To my gallon Ziploc bag, I'm gonna add the four boneless chicken breasts, your two cups of barbecue sauce. I actually used two cans of black beans in this recipe and it was perfect. One can would have been too little. I drained and rinsed my black beans and then added them to the bag. But according to the freezer directions that the cookbook has, it just says a 15 ounce can can of black beans so you probably don't even need to drain them but I did anyway add your chopped onion then I'm going to mix this all together in the Ziploc bag and then get all the air out when you're ready to serve this up thaw in a fridge overnight then add this to your slow cooker in the directions on the bag I did say to add a fourth cup to a half cup of water to thin out the sauce so in your slow cooker add about a fourth to a half cup of water set your slow cooker on low for eight hours if you're gonna make this just for the first time straight in your slow cooker, spray your slow cooker, add your chicken breasts, rinse and drain your beans, add your chopped onion, your two cups of barbecue sauce, and add your one fourth to one half cup of water. Set your slow cooker on low and cook for eight hours. When it's done, shred the chicken and make yummy street tacos. Add any condiments you want. Derek really enjoyed this. He likes to add sour cream, I also liked putting the green onions on this as well. Serve up and enjoy. Crispy slow cooker carnitas. This recipe is from gimmesomeoven.com. You'll need about a four to five pound lean boneless pork roast. Uh, my, my friend Denise did use pork chops instead so you could do either way. Trim off any excess fat and then cut into three inch chunks. So I heated some oil in a pan, I used olive oil. And then I just seared all the sides of the pork, just about one to two minutes on each side. Then I transferred the pork to my slow cooker. Then I added the remaining ingredients to my slow cooker. I diced up one medium onion. Then I added four cloves of garlic, peeled and minced. The recipe on the website said one tablespoon of chipotle powder, but I did not do that. I added about maybe a half of a teaspoon. A teaspoon of chili powder, teaspoon of black pepper, and one and a half teaspoons of salt. And then two teaspoons of cumin. I 
I added one cup of beer. If you don't want to use the beer, you could substitute it with chicken stock. Once that's all in, give it a stir, combine it up, and then cook on low for six to eight hours or on high for four to five, or just until the pork is completely tender and shreds with a fork. Okay, once your pork is cooked, preheat your broiler on high, and then you want to get some baking sheets and have them wrapped in aluminum foil and then with a slotted spoon transfer your pork to the baking sheets. You want to have it in an even layer on the baking sheet and just leave the juices in your crock pot. You'll get back to those in just a minute. Place the sheet under the broiler for about five minutes or until the edges of the pork begin to brown or crisp up. Okay, after five minutes, remove the sheet from the oven and then ladle about one fourth cup of the juices from the slow cooker evenly over the pork. I had my baking sheet too low in my oven. I really should have had it closer to the top of my broiler. I had it on the middle rack. Then give it a toss and then add it back under the broiler for another five minutes to get it more crispy. The next time I make this, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm going to definitely put it closer to the broiler, but I'm going to sprinkle some more of all those seasons. I'm going to combine them together, sprinkle them on top, and then broil them. Now this step here with the corn tortillas was not on the pin post. This is something that my friend Denise does. Okay, you could do this with flour tortillas or corn. She sprayed the pan down good, flipped them, and then crisped up the cheese. Yes, yes she did. I was like, what are you doing? It turned out so good. So what we have here is some sliced avocado, tomatoes, onion, cilantro. It was so good, you guys. This was such a yummy dinner. I downed it, Derek downed it. It was so good. I'm excited to make it again, for sure. Your taste buds will be so happy. Thanks so much for joining me today and click on these two videos I have for you, more slow cooker meals for you and all freezer friendly.